So we'll start with you, Frank, and then go to Leno. Um, why did you choose UMass at the end of the day? Uh, for me, I, I chose UMass because um, it was a school I was very familiar with. I'm about uh, 35, 40 minutes away. Um, I grew up going to games there. Um, my cousin played hockey at Boston College. And also a close family friend, TJ Siner, who also coached at UMass uh, a couple of years ago, was also uh, playing on UMass. So I'd always go to the BC UMass games. And the atmosphere there was unbelievable. I think the game I went to is when they broke uh, the attendance record against Boston College and I'd say wow this would be an unbelievable place to play and um, you know I did eventually so it was uh, I think for me it was a great decision and uh, I would never I wouldn't want it any other way. How about you Leno? Why did you choose UMass? Uh, for me it was pretty similar to Frank. I grew up going to games and uh, from Amherst and everything so my dad was a basketball coach there uh, so I was always around the rink and um, just dream on to play there so it was uh, it was a blast. What was your impression when you saw campus? Was it the rink and the atmosphere that blown you away? Was there anything on campus that you thought was cool, anything like that? Yeah, I think um, the rink, I think, speaks for itself. It's an unbelievable facility. And uh, the cool thing about UMass is it's in a town, but it feels like you're in a city also. So you kind of get uh, both, both of those vibes there, and, it, and it's great. I think you get the best of both worlds. Um, but overall, I think the student life and – Everything that goes on around campus, it's, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun, and it's a great place to go to school. Leno, um, do you have a, a favorite building on campus or dining hall on campus, and why were those, whatever? Why do you like that certain building or that certain dining hall? Uh, I was a big Burke guy after, um, after practice. We'd go there a lot. Usually the whole team was there, so we'd grab the biggest table we can, and you know everyone would hop in line and get their food, so. That was always a good time after practice to kind of wind down and, you know, have a relaxing dinner. How about in town, Frank? Like any spots that you like to go to eat when you were at uh, UMass or hang out, whatever, in town or whatever, down off the yeah. coast trip there? Yeah, I was actually talking to Leno about <laughs> Leno with this the other day. Uh, we were huge. We went to Pasta eat a lot. Um, or else do we? Oh, it's. I think it's called Johnny's. Is that what it's called, Johnny's Diner? Now it used to be called yeah. Route Nine Diner. So we would go there a lot uh, for breakfast. Um, but those are two of the probably the spots that stood out the most for me, and I remember going to a bunch. What did you major in, Leno? And is there any classes or professors that stood out there in your time? Did you have a favorite course or professor that you thought was pretty cool, or you had a good experience, anything like that? Um, I majored in sport management, so a lot of the classes. You know, you got a little bit more experience and, like, hands-on stuff. So that was pretty cool for me and um, a lot of stuff I could relate to a little bit more than other classes. Playing at the Mullen Center, um, how are the fans? Do you have a favorite memory of the home of the, of a home game or things like that? I think we might have break, broke that record that Frank was talking about back in the day when we played Quinnipiac a few years yeah. ago. Just any thoughts on the Mullen Center and the fans and a favorite home game that sticks out to you? Yeah, the, the Mullen Center is, in my opinion, one of the best rinks to play in in college hockey. Um, the atmosphere is great when that place is packed. It's it's a great experience for everyone. And by far my favorite memory at that place was BC my sophomore year when Glock scored with uh, like two seconds left to go up 3-2 in the third and pretty much sold out building. And uh, that was just forever one of my favorite memories at that school for sure. Sure. How about you, Frank? Any uh, thoughts on the Mullen Center, the fans? Any any home games that really stick out to your memory that were fun or exciting? Anything like that? Yeah, I think for me, um, well, I, I actually transferred to UMass uh, from BC, so it was senior night. So when I was a freshman, uh, the grade above, I lived with sophomores when I transferred in. So it was uh, see, it was their senior night against PC uh, when they won the national championship, and we beat them in overtime. Uh, on senior night at the Mullen Center, and that was actually my last game I played at the Mullen Center, and I scored the overtime winner. So, you know, to to have my last game at the Mullen Center end like that, especially against the national champions, um, and to to do it for the seniors was it was great, and that's a game I'll never forget. How do how'd you score the GWG? Was it a snipe? Or how we score that? G oh man, you got to see this video. I think it's on YouTube. It was the worst goal you'll ever see. I went on two knees like Yakupov did when he scored that OG goal like six years ago, right into the corner. But it was literally laying behind Gillies, and I tapped it in. <laughs> hey, they don't ask how; they ask how many at the end of the day. Exactly.
The um, in your UMass career, Frank, are there is there, is there any games that stick out to you uh, being really fun? Um, I don't know if it was that Providence game or games against anybody else in Hockey East or other teams that you play in the other games that really stick out to you, why they were fun or in your memory bank, anything like that? Yeah, definitely. The one that definitely sticks out is we actually played in the longest NCAA hockey game in the history. Uh, we went five overtimes in Notre Dame and uh, Shane Walsh scored the OT winner and that was probably one of those games where I never thought was going to end and it was an incredible game to be a part of. For you, Leno, like your, your, your hockey career and developing and things like that, um, UMass, just again, talking about the UMass, uh, the Mullen Center, like the structure of the arena, like having two ice sheets, having our weight room, um, how did you feel like it was conducive for you for developing as a hockey player? Yeah, I think uh, UMass has some of the best facilities in the country. They have obviously the practice rink where, you know, you can pretty much go out whenever you want and work on things that, you know, you need to work on in your game. And the weight room is second to none for sure. And that's uh, brand new as well, too. So two, uh, two great facilities that are right next to each other that, uh, you know, is attached to the big rink. So it's uh, extremely convenient and, um, you know, a great place to play. What were your goals and expectations coming into UMass? Was it to, to sign a pro contract? Was it just to have a, a good college career? Like what were your kind of goals and expectations coming into UMass? Uh, I think my biggest goal is, you know, I think we wanted to make a name at, at UMass, um, you know, personally and uh, as a program. Um, I was undrafted at the time too. So I uh, kind of had that chip on my shoulder as well. And, um, you know, the team wasn't, great at the time so we were kind of in that rebuilding stage and we wanted to make a name for ourselves and you know have an impact as a class and as a program so um, I think that that was the biggest thing was to you know help UMass kind of build its program. Going to UMass being a local guy did you did you enjoy it did you feel like the fans liked you a little bit more because you're from just down the road there in Springfield area like what were your thoughts on coming to UMass being close to home and being a Massachusetts kid? Yeah, I enjoyed it. You know, it's it's awesome when you have familiar faces in the in the stands. You know, your family can come every single game. Uh, friends can come to a lot of the games, and you know, for me, it was it was great. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have wished it any other way. It was, uh, it, was it was awesome playing close to home, especially at a place like UMass. When Frank was at UMass, did you follow him at all? I'm sure whatever you guys might have skated to know each other. Like, did you follow him while he was at UMass, and then obviously now he's playing in the NHL? Yeah, I think um, it's one of the best parts about Western Mass is everyone's so close and everyone follows each other. So four um, one three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think um, you know it's great to see him. You know, have success at the NHL level and the college level, and um, that was kind of when we first started to get to know each other. Was when I was in high school uh, and he was going into college and uh, playing for the program. So uh, that was when you know we first started training, and um, you know it's been great. How about you, Frank? Did you uh, follow Leno's career at all while he was at UMass? Do you follow the team now? Oh, yeah. I follow very closely, especially, uh, you know, following how uh, Leno's year this year and following the, following the team. So I always kept track of what he was doing and stuff, and we, we talked a bunch throughout the season and all that stuff. So, uh, you know, we stay in contact during the season. You know, I think it will stay the same for the, for the following years. The uh, last question for you guys. So, Frank, with you going to UMass, um, if you had to talk to other kids that were being recruited by other schools, like what do you think differentiates UMass or makes UMass special when there's obviously a lot of really good schools in Hockey East and all over the country? No, I think over the past I don't know, four or five years when you know, a card came in, I think you, you, the coaching staff, you and Benny, I think you guys have created an unbelievable culture. And I think that's what UMass was missing was an identity. and. I think that you guys have done a great job of identifying what kind of program it is, and it's a hardworking program. You're going to get, what you, you're going to earn uh, everything. You're not going to be given stuff. So, um, you know, it's you have all the resources there. You have a great weight room. You have a great support staff. You have great coaching. You have everything there that you need, and you're playing in Hockey East. And I think that's that's enough said. And if you get to play in Hockey East in a in a great building in a great facility, I think it's a no brainer to go to UMass. How about, how about you, Leno? What do you think uh, differentiates UMass or makes UMass special? Uh, the building in itself, um, the facilities there, you know, are awesome. The campus life, um, you know, everyone's always saying hi to each other, having a good time on campus. Um, you know, the, 
the town in Amherst is, you know, a fun spot too. And um, the atmosphere at the Mullen Center, like I said, is, is one of the best in the country. So for me, it was a no brainer.